President's Choice segment tonight, beginning last December, police in Northampton, Massachusetts, in the center of the state, greeted some students in that town with high fives every Friday. Programs designed to allow kids and cops to become friendly. But as Fox News correspondent Rob Schmidt reports, that program has now been stopped. High five Fridays at schools in Northampton, Massachusetts, allowed police officers to welcome elementary age kids to school every Friday with high fives. But it only lasted a couple months due to concerns it could intimidate children of color and illegal immigrants. Sam Hopper's daughter, Dylan, had police officers come to her school for a high five Friday. Did you like it? Yeah. Her mom liked it too, but said she understands both sides. If they're used to having police come to their houses in negative aspects, they may not just they probably have a bad taste in their mouth about it. The mayor and superintendent both refused to talk to us, but school committee vice chair Ed Zikowski said at an open meeting in December only one parent voiced a concern. It hasn't been my understanding or experience that um, anyone thinks that positive interactions between law enforcement and youth is a bad thing. Yeah. It's just how we can make it the best for all students. The police department said in a Facebook post, concerns were shared that some kids might respond negatively to a group of uniformed officers at their school. People were specifically concerned about kids of color, undocumented children, or any children who may have had negative experiences with the police. I think the police department wants to be a part of the community, and they are a part of the community. Uh, pulling them away from the community, I don't think it's, it's a good thing. Well, the city says the High Five program is on hold right now until they can figure out a way to reintroduce it that makes everybody more comfortable. But with politics right now and everything being so polarized, it could be a tough job to do. In Northampton, Massachusetts, Rob Schmidt, Fox News. Here now to analyze Fox News anchor Martha McCallum. You see her at 7 p.m. right before the fact. So they want everybody comfortable, safe spaces, politically correct, snowflakes. Why don't you toughen up out there in Northampton, all right? If you didn't have the cops, the place would be overrun. I'm sorry. <laughs> what say you, Martha? The whole idea of yes. this program yes. was to make everybody more comfortable. With the cops. So that the kids would say, I know, you know, that policeman, Tom, yeah. he's my buddy. I high-five him at school every, you know, Friday. Once a month, this was. Right. Once a month, the police officers would come down and high-five the kids. Hey, TGIF, it's Friday. So some of the parents decided, as you heard in Rob's piece, that it might make some of the kids uncomfortable if they're children of color or if they're undocumented. Now, if anybody believes that this was going to lead to hauling one of these children uh, out of Northampton, Massachusetts, I think that's nuts. Uh, this is a very peaceful community. I mean, it's home to Smith College, not far from Amherst. I mean, Northampton is not exactly um, a I know there, bastion, I know there are a lot of nuts. Know. I know there are a lot of nuts that live in that area of Massachusetts. But Northampton, I mean, I know the community pretty well. If you took a plebiscite, which is a yes or no up and down vote on High Five Friday, 80-20. No, you probably right? would get a lot of yeses. 20. But so the fact is that here, they're so concerned that there's just the slightest my, here, bit of, here, of consternation. McCown, here's my question. All right. Okay. When did the country allow the crazy people to take over? When did that happen? Do you have a date? Because the crazy people are now running this country. When you can't have police come in and greet the kids with a high five because somebody might be offended somewhere, no name on it, no kid crying. It's not like the cops are grabbing kids. You know I, All right? The kid can go around the cop. Say hi, officer. Okay. <laughs> I know. You know, there used to be a, uh, an officer, Joe Bolton, on TV here in New York City. He was on Channel 11. Okay. So, what would they cancel him because some cop watching at home might be afraid? It's. We've lost control, McCallum. We've lost control. We've and lost you know, I think it's control. a combination of political correctness, which we're quite familiar with as, yes. as, a, as an idea here, um, and also litigiousness, right? So the, the thing Come that's been on. lost. No, you no, couldn't the sue. Been lost, if you sue you this. Could, and the thing that's been lost is judgment, right? So people in authority no. don't look at the situation and say, Hold on, parents. And we don't even know. It's not even evident that there were specifically parents who were necessarily unhappy no, with it. It was like a suggestion that maybe right. somebody one might that be unhappy. Because, but they don't have anyone who stands up and says, look, parent, no, you're being they, crazy. This whole idea is so to improve the relationship. I think the principal and school board uh, chief should be, should be arrested. Get a spine. No, let the police arrest them. 
okay? Just arrest them. All Maybe right? they just give them a high five yeah, and they'll yeah, all get along a lot better. They can a high five in handcuffs like this. <laughs> all right? And then drop the charges like two oh, days God. later. So oh, we didn't really mean it. So we just sad. wanted to get to know you better. It's crazy. These North Hampton, Massachusetts, everybody. Not on my vacation uh, dance card. Martha McCallum.